Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. The head of the Federal Commission of Integrity, COI, Hader Hannon, during a press conference to announce that funds have been recovered. Baghdad, judicial authorities in Iraq announced Wednesday an investigation into the head of the country's anti-corruption agency over alleged audio recordings attributed to him and relating to suspected bribery. The Commission of Integrity Anti-Graft Body, presided over by Judge Hader Hannon, responded with a statement denouncing what it called slander and lies, and said the recordings had been fabricated. Corruption is endemic in Iraqi state institutions, with the top echelons of power often evading accountability. It is not unknown in Iraq for public officials to try to settle scores by trading accusations. One sound clip on social networks, which has been picked up by media outlets, appears to be from a conversation suggesting Hannon had received large sums of money and even a luxury car. AFP was unable to verify the authenticity of the recording. The Attorney General has asked an investigating judge to examine audio recordings attributed to the acting director of the Commission of Integrity, Hader Hannon, in relation to bribery offenses, the judicial statement said. The Commission of Integrity's own statement announced a press conference for Thursday to expose the facts and deny these calumnies and inventions. It denounced electronic armies, which had fabricated sound extracts attributed to the head of the authority, aimed at dissuading him from his mission and obstructing the commission's work. At the beginning of September, Hannon accused a judge of having obtained state land by posing as a security officer. He made the accusation at a heated press conference in Iraq's autonomous northern region of Kurdistan as he defended his own ownership of two plots of land in the south of the country. In late August, an Iraqi criminal court issued arrest warrants for a businessman and a former government official wanted over their alleged involvement in stealing $2.5 billion of public funds. The scandal has been dubbed the heist of the century in Iraq. Thanks take care.